How many single people we have here today? Oh, yeah. Cool, man. All right. When you see a good-looking girl or you see a good-looking guy, you, you want to get their attention. Now, how do you get a, their attention without looking like an idiot or saying something stupid? You know, you want a form of relationship. So usually you try to go get somebody to introduce you. When you ought to just walk up and say, hi, I got to meet you. But you don't want to say that because you don't want her to think you're a fool or vice versa. Or too forward or too dumb. You know, things of that nature. So you're trying to form. So there's a little fear there. Think about it. Just a little fear. Just want to get close to this mama. You know what I'm saying? What's happening, mama? But you, you, know, but you don't want to say the wrong thing. Act like a fool. Sound stupid. So there's a little fear there. But once you make that step, you might go somewhere and get a coke or be with a bunch of people and they start talking. That relationship's formed. And you get begin to talk. All of a sudden you have a date. Now I'm going to tell you what the boy's thinking. Should I kiss her? Now don't lie, guys, because that's a fact. You're waiting for the end of the date. You don't care what happens before. You're waiting to get to that door. Come here, mama, I'm going to double lip lock you today. <laughs> Now, I ain't no use to lie about it because that's simply the truth. That's human nature. <laughs> don't act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at all the single people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, what's amazing, you think that's only for young people, but they don't make no difference if you're 80 years old. I had an 80-year-old man woke me up one time. He said, I want you to pray for me to get a woman. I said, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Are you serious? He said, I ain't dead. I said, no, you ain't dead. He said, I want a woman. <laughs> I said, well, go talk, talk to her. I ain't got none here. <laughs> I thought the old man was something but bless God, and he did get married. God sent him a spouse. But notice as you begin to form that relationship, then a fellowship takes place. Then you can re really let that girl see you the way you are, or really are. Or you let that guy see you the way you really are. Without the makeup, without the sweet smelling stuff, I'm talking. <sighs> you know what I'm talking about. And when he finally sees you, he thinks you're another person. What happened? But you get to that point that if he don't like me the way I am, bless God, take what he gets. This is it. That's called marriage. <laughs> and that beautiful girl gets up with that house coat that a dog wouldn't sleep on. <laughs> and her breath, her breath will knock a, knock a maggot down. Boy, I ain't kidding. <laughs> That's called reality. What you want, honey? You gonna fix me breakfast? Fix it yourself. <laughs> that's called reality. But see, if you're in love, that's called fellowship. <laughs> see, and it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> Glory to God. That guy must have saw his wife ugly, huh? God. No, no, I'm just joking. What I'm saying is, it's called being yourself. You got to see God the way he really is.